All right, welcome to RGL number 2362. This is going to be our MLB PYT. In this PYT, at the conclusion of the break, we're going to give away a free spot into break number 2367, which is the Bowman Sapphire break. But this is a PYT. We shouldn't have any trades, um, so we're going to get started in just a second. Your minor bounty tonight, starting off at $650. We ran a uh, double bounty weekend on Saturday, and we only gave away the bounty one time. It was for a thousand bucks. Um, so we give away a thousand dollar minor bounty. Major bounty is up over five thousand bucks, five thousand twenty bucks. Two eighty three and eighty three are your numbers, and uh, no nebula bounty in this one. So let's go ahead and hop on in. What's going on, Smitty? Oh yeah, I got I got to fix a couple of these. That's what I, I thought that was gonna happen. So we'll do that. That'll look fine. And I think I might have to make a little adjustment over here too. We'll see. Will there be more museum tonight? Uh, there will be. I think there will be. We will have a definitive... Yeah, that's gonna be... I'm gonna have to fix my overlay, otherwise that's gonna be way small. Ah, now I'm breaking things. Now I'm breaking things. Uh, is that too small? Can you guys read that? Can you guys read the bounties, or are they way too small down there? On phone, they're probably way too small. I'm going to have to figure out where those go. You got card jacked out of 2367. Who did it, says Rudy. Peter. Who did it? It's probably Peter. Oh, it was Peter? All right. I'm going to have to do some work to make that, make that bounty down there look good. On PC, it looks good. Yeah, I imagine on mobile, it looks a little tiny. What are we starting off with? We're starting off with Chrome Jumbo. Chrome jumbo it is. Power rips, power rips not, a no, not a jumbo. Not with jumbo. We don't power rip jumbo. We enjoy jumbo. This is Topps Chrome Hobby Jumbo. Uh, not update. We have two breakers for updating this one. On PC it looks good. Yeah, what's going on, Yard Pimp? What's going on, everybody? What is going on, family? How are you guys doing? Did Hitman dust you guys? I'm telling you guys, Hitman was dusting me all night long last night. Right up until the very, very last basketball break. And I was the last person to buy into that one. And then he pulled me up. I was I was going to skip it. I was ready to head to bed. I was ready to get some sleep. And uh, last spot, I had to take it. And then, man, did Hitman come through. Did Hitman come through for me last night? He almost got me the dream card, but he got me a pretty good one. You missed it. I pulled uh, Jalen Williams RPA to 75 i think it was true rpa to 75 hitman dusted me really good he is known for that welcome welcome back hitman you got half the half the community mad at you uh, no he did me good says prison mike oh boy well thankfully i have i have a i have a low bar to Ooh, this monitor they, cats mess up the monitor i feel like something's off uh nolan gorman rookie uh yeah i last sold for 14 hundo on that one uh, that's my biggest Hitman hit in a minute. Uh, we've got Wanda Franco's 88 is going to be uh, Alex Bregman. Our first auto, man. We're starting off the night good. How about Nolan Gorman to 250? How about Nolan Gorman to 250 is our first auto of the night. Going to St. Louis. Eric M. Robert says, RGL and Battle and COVID right now came down last Friday. I'm off work all week. Robert, feel better, man. Feel better, Robert. I, I had it. It was rough. I know how that goes. Robert, just plenty of sleep, man. Plenty of sleep, plenty of fluid. How about Nolan Gorman to kick off the night? Is that a one-touch to 250? Where are my comp masters at? Where are my comp masters at? Jake DeGrom. Comp masters, where are you guys at? J JML is my, is my spreadsheet master, not a comp master. Yoshida, Ruiz, Terang. What's going on, JM? Uh, Boba Shet, Sandy Alcantara. Some RGL breaks. There you go. Oscar Colas, Luis Castillo on the 88, Rendon on the Hyper, Electric Eddie on the Refractor. Two more autos. Let's see if we can find one of those Taco Fractors, especially the Marte Taco Fractor. Hoping I can get four, last sold 46 on the Gorman. That's not bad. Nolan Jones, David VR, Iggy Rosario, Carlos Perez, Tyler Freeman. Uh, that is Jimenez. Michael Harris is going to be your future star. Let's 
It's going to be Ken Waldachuk on the Prism Refractor. And there's the dude, but we need to see him on the Taco Fractor. We need to see a Taco Fractor of Ketel Marte. 40 to 50 on the Gorman. That's not a bad start, though. It's not a bad start at all. We got the Lakers and the um, Lakers and the Pistons on TV right now. Word on the street is the Mariners may get Blake Snell. And you know what? They don't really need pitching. They need hitting is what they need. Jordan Groshans, Tio. They need they need some hitting for sure. We need we need Soto. We need Shohei. Tovar, Carlos Correa, and Michael Stefanik on the refractor. I'm, I'm okay with them getting Blake Snell. You know, local guy. Um, but I would prefer to see Soto on a one-year rental. Or uh, I would prefer to see... I would prefer to see us give a half mil to, or a half billion to Shohei. Uh, what basketball box under $500 would you recommend ripping? Great question. Uh, under $500? Uh, select Hobby. Select Hobby. Easy. Select Hobby is about $450, which is really low, actually. Uh, you know, compared to, compared to yesteryears. $450 for Select and it's been out forever seems like a good deal. Uh, Drury, Jose Abreu. Best team in a definitive break? Um... I mean, take your pick. Probably the Braves, honestly. The Braves have so many hits. Cal Mitchell, Jeremy Pena on the Future Star, uh, Titan of Acuna, and Stephen Kwan. Uh, yeah, the Angel ceiling is incredibly high. Hitman pulled me a Gold Wave Stroud. Hey, that's awesome. We have a Gold Wave in here. Speaking of the devil, Andrew, you just willed this one out. We have a Gold Wave to 50. I didn't get to see any of the Mosaic Team All uh, case last night, but I have a case coming, so we'll probably do a half case of it on uh, Saturday. Uh, Bobby and Carol. Royce Lewis. There is a $20 Acuna right there on the buyback. Brett Beatty, Alec Thomas. Uh, Rafi Devers, Gold Wave coming up. Oh, boy. I see. Do you guys see what I see? Is it really happening for Allen Doesn't Miss? Did I literally just not say this 20 minutes ago? I see orange. I see orange on the border. Is is this really happening? Not a rookie logo. Ah, uh, yes, Dremski to 50. Sorry, Alan. Sorry, Alan. He he misses sometimes. Uh 30 19 of 50 on the Yaz. Mosaic team all was terrible. Spread the word. Was it? JML said it was okay. JML said JML asked me if I saw it, and I said no, and he, he thought it was okay. It was it's cheap. Is last year I think those were like almost two hundred dollars a box. This year they're like a hundred, I think. Uh Titan, there is Adley, and then Joe Ryan. He just hit I saw. I saw I, I saw. Alan misses are my big hits, says Prison Mike. Uh we have an orange wave to twenty five. There's Adley. Orange wave to 25 in the back. Stefanik. Garcia. Peraza. DL Hall. H to the Rizzo. Worst of all the Team All products. It's not great. The, the Team All football products are not as good as the basketball products. It's because over there in Asia, they like basketball more than football. So they don't make that many. Orange. Otto, Cal Stevenson, 3 of 25, going to the A's. That's Eric G. Uh, refractor of Max Freed on the back. Orange, Otto, Cal Stevenson. I don't know too much about him. I'm going to assume not a one-touch, but let me know. Cal Stevenson to 25. Our two color or our two autos have been both in color so far. Allen's dust is my triple purified oxygen, says Ryan Marshall. What's going on, Ryan? Ryan wants those 1% fillers. Uh, Aaron Judge, J.D. Martinez, Zach Gallen, Correa. What are you guys doing tonight? Ramirez, negative of Corbin Burns, uh, Brian Reynolds, and uh, Spencer Torkelson. What are you guys watching? What are you guys watching? What's going on, City, by the way? RGL the best in the world? Nah, that's, that's CM Punk. That's CM Punk. My oh my, how opinions on CM Punk can change in the blink of an eye, right? JML still th doesn't doesn't like him. JML still thinks he's the worst. Last sold five dollars on the Stevenson big sad. When is the case of flux lucky envelopes, Drew? Do you really want them? Do you really want them, Drew? I don't even think I ordered any. I saw them and I I don't think I ordered any. 
Drew, if you want the flux lucky envelopes, I'll do I did I order some? I can't remember. I did not order ten, I know that. I think I ordered four. I think I'm gonna do them on the video. I'm not gonna make you guys do flux lucky envelopes in the breaks. Uh Ozzy Alvi's Logan Webb, unless you guys really want them. I would rather do mosaic. Uh Miggy on the 88. Our final auto in the box is gonna be Drew Waters. Punk looks younger. Yeah, they, they had him cut his hair. You know, he he looked very young. He didn't look like the grizzled old, you know, grizzled old, you know, gunslinger. Michael Harris refractor going to the Braves. I'm okay with Punk back. I think it's awesome, you know, that they were able to make amends. He does have a record. He does have a toxic streak with him. So it'll be very curious to see how long he lasts. What do I think about the trade talks between San Diego and New York for Soto? Uh, I, I would not be surprised if they land Soto. Speaking of Punk, I keep seeing clips of Rollins and Rhea's reaction when he came out flipping. Yeah, I think that's a story. That's a storyline, Greg. That's a storyline. Uh, Rosarina, Vinny Poscatino, Bubba Thompson, uh, Bo Naylor on the Technicolor, uh, Ian Happ, and a Francisco Lindor. It's a work. They're doing a storyline. Rhea has no reason not to like CM Punk. She's probably never even met him. What were they going to do with Punk back, Orton back, j Seth? Yeah, so I think, you know, we're talking WWE early tonight. I think your WrestleMania matches, night one main event, Seth versus CM Punk. Night two, Cody versus uh, Cody versus Roman. That That's that's what I would guess right now. I think Gunther is going Brock Lesnar. I think we're getting Gunther and Brock at Mania. I think that makes the most sense. Cody Clemens, Levator. And then something will happen like uh, at WrestleMania, night after WrestleMania, like Chad Gable will just beat Gunther. Uh, Oswald Peraza is going to be your 88. McCutcheon. And uh, there's the judge, Aaron Judge, on the refractor. Randy Orton. What do we do with Randy Orton at WrestleMania? I don't know. Maybe go Randy Orton, Jay Uso. I don't know. Orton, Orton's got to be a heel, right? He, Orton and Cody is what, uh, Orton and Cody is what uh, JML wants to see. Seth is too over as a face right now, but the crowd will definitely turn on him with... Yeah, for sure. For sure. I think we need some heels. We need some faces. Tozawa with Alpha Academy is so much fun. Uh, we watched Raw. This is one of the only times I've watched Raw live this year. Uh, Outman, Manessis, Bryce Young... Or Bryce Harper. <laughs> Bryce Young. Bryce Harper on the Technicolor. We've got Titans of Jose Ramirez. And we're going to end the first box with Nolan Gorman. Orton came back. He's like 44. Orton's like 44 or something like that. He's a monster. He's yoked out of his mind. He can't he can't even walk Orton is an... Yeah, he is an ox. All right, let's do Logo Fractor. He's huge. He's yoked. How do I think Tony Khan feels? He... Punk on... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think that Tony Khan... Has done a lot of good in the industry for wrestling. I also think that Tony Khan is very new in the industry of wrestling and it shows. It's what happens when you, he needs more management around him. It's what happens when you give a kid with a checkbook all the wrestlers he ever loved. That's like when we used to, I don't know. That's enough. We can talk more about wrestling. We, we can talk more about wrestling later on or right now. I, I know we have 263 watching us do a baseball rip. Wrestling is hot right now. If you're not a wrestling fan, just know that we're kind of going through a kind of going through a glory period or definitely a boom period in wrestling right now. It's awesome. Wrestling was stagnant for a lot of years, and the last couple of years have been some of the best wrestling we've had in decades. Uh, Jordan Walker, we're getting back to Attitude Era levels of hot. Brett Beatty. Uh, there's another twenty dollar Acuna. Braves making their money back twenty dollars at a time. Uh, Moreno, Cade Cavalli. Are you spoiling? Uh, are you spoil? I'm not spoiling any wrestling. Do I think behind the scenes Punk earned enough respect for most stars? Uh, yeah. I think he has a few things to clear up, but for the most part, I think that everybody in the company realizes it's a net plus for him to be back. Uh, Riley Green, Goldie. Obviously, it helps the company tremendously. Like, it's the most, what, viral social moment of them forever? What's going on, Otis? Instead of actual management, he had Daniel Bryan on the disciplinary community. Yeah. So, a lot of people are saying that that's dumb. I actually think that's fine. I think that of all the people in AEW, uh, 
he's probably the voice of reason, honestly. Daniel Bryan's probably the most voice of reason. Brian Danielson, Daniel Bryan. All right, let's do our two Logo Fractor packs. Ooh. Ooh, we got we gold and pink in here. We're going to kick it off with Bobby Witt Jr., uh, Bryce Harper for the Phillies, Nolan Arenado, first color, Ketel Marte, Mr. Taco Man, 39 of 199, and we have gold, not an auto. For the Tigers, that's going to be Riley Green, 44 of 50, going to Hattie. Please don't ruin it. Uh, I'm up to the Hogan Andre match. <laughs> Oh man, you're only uh, you're only 35 years behind, man. You'll catch up in no time. What's going on, Matt? Riley Green to 50. You want some 1999 spoilers? Yeah, losing Jade, Cody, and Punk in a, a year. Yeah, one tenth. What's going on, man? Let me know if the Riley is up over 100. I don't think it is, but let me know. CM Punk's one of the base draws in Tony Khan, but you correct. Fast forward to Mankind, Undertaker, Hell in a Cell, yep. Jade should win the Women's Rumble. She should be in it. Uh, I don't know if she should win it. She's not ready for that spotlight. I think she's still a little too green. Uh, Boba Shett, Shane McClanahan, future star Gunnar Henderson on the Logo Fractor. Bryce Turing and Oswald Peraza. So we will have we will have more uh, Logo Fractor in the coming weeks. This was one of the best Black Friday deals that was offered by a couple of sites. I believe they were like $140 or something like that. So more Logo Fractor to come. Those will be a st in, in steady rotation in the breaks. AEW losing QT Marshall isn't being talked about, but that's a massive loss. He's going to be a great road agent in WWE. He's going to be a great agent. Good backstage source for him. Good trainer. All right, we have two, uh, two Breakers Delight. Let's hit ourselves a debut patch. Riley Green to 50, 60 bucks. AEW got Ric Flair, Walt. Yeah, and they got Ronda. And Ed, yeah. Hello, everyone. Hope you get those squirrels boxes tonight. Me, too. I want to hit a super. We hit a super on... Did we hit a super on Saturday? Was it Saturday or Wednesday? We hit that Hobie Harris. Hoagie Harris. Husky Harris. Husky Harris. Yeah, we hit a Husky Harris on the, on the wrestling talk. How much does Peter C. have to pay... You just to body slam JML. Well, here's the thing, Ryan. I don't have the shoulder strength to body slam him. I, I can't body slam JML on stream. I, I don't I don't have the shoulder strength. JML been great. Gaining weight, eating all those chicken parms and chicken tendies. And those those ice waters. Andrew Nardi, we've got Tommy Listella. Aled Ms. Diaz, Nolan Gorman debut. Ooh, that's nice. Youthquake, Mark Viento's gold to 50. To 50 on the Youthquake, 23 of 50. JML's a sandbagger. Last sold 127 on the Riley Green. I'm getting conflicting reports. Somebody said 60. Somebody said 127. I'm getting conflicting reports on the Riley. JML, how much does Peter C. have to pay you to body slam RGL? Oh, boy. Uh, he has to pay me a lot of money, too. Xavier Edwards, that is going to be 204 of 250. I led Ms. Diaz for the A's. Uh, 97 of 175. That is a nice card. Going to the Yankees, Peter. See, that is a lava lamp of Anthony Volpe. Jam all a buyer. 252 of 299. Let me know. Let me know if that's a one touch. Not a one touch because it's to 299. Two autos are non-numbered auto. It's going to be this guy, JP France for the Astros. And then your purple speckle auto to 299. Who is that? Who is that? That is going to be Jake. Give him the bird. Jake Bird is going to be number 236 of 299. Going to the Rockies. Who the F? What's my favorite finisher? That's a great question. I've never even thought about that. What the f is this piece of That's a dumb finisher. That's a dumb finisher. My favorite finisher in wrestling, ooh. You know, for the longest time, it was the lion salt. Just because I love the, the middle rope moon salt. And then he got sloppy and old. I think it's the cutter. I, I, think, it's, I think it's the diamond cutter. I think the diamond cutter, you know, the stunner was always nice, but you could always know when it was coming. 
DDP and then RKO Randy Orton. They can hit that cutter out of nowhere. So I like that one. Crossroads looks good for sure. Uh, you know what? As a kid, as, as like a 12-year-old, the Jackknife Powerbomb was my favorite just because they pick them up and then they just drop them. The Jackknife was awesome. The Razor's Edge looked cool just because, you know, as a kid, I always, when we were backyard wrestling, you know, you have them, you're holding them up by the shoulders and then you're trying to like fly them forward. Super kick, super kicks were cool until the, until the Young Bucks ruined them. Xavier Edwards right there. The Worm, the Perfect Plex, a little, uh, what is a Perfect Plex? That's just a Fisherman Buster, right? Fisherman Suplex. Yeah. Into a pin, yeah. The Camel Clutch. The Van Terminator across the ring. The Van Terminator. The Raven's DDT was great, yep. The Boston Crab. We got a lot of wrestling fans in chat tonight, don't we? It is a packed house for wrestling fans. I'm sure the, I'm sure the non-wrestling fans right now who are, who are in this break just absolutely hate it. I'm having the time of my life. The Million Dollar Sleeper. All right, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be Breaker's Delight Numero Dos. That card on the back, that refractor just keeps getting stuck in there. The Hogan leg drop. Jake's DDT was glorious. Tombstone always was nice, but you saw it coming. Um, ooh, we have uh, yellow. Hunt and fishing cards. Remember for eight months. <laughs> The true walls of Jericho, yeah, when he was doing the, yeah, when it was actually not just a crab, yep. You're a crab. Me and my wife would call each other crabs. Edward Julian, JP France, uh, Vince Velasquez, Michael uh, Bush is going to be on the rookie debut refractor. Luis Medina and Christian uh, Vasquez. Drew Hicklin, team, or, sorry, not Drew, Brewer Hicklin for the Royals is going to go 134 of 150. Nice Kershaw All Star Game Green to ninety nine right here. Ninety one eighty one two off the bounty. Scorpion Death Drop. Yep. Zach Nato on the uh, yellow to seventy five. Sixty nine of seventy five. Giggity. Uh, Xavier Edwards. First auto is going to be Spencer Steer on the sticker auto for Cincinnati. That one's not too bad going to Jeremy. And then we have a teal wave auto to one fifty. I think. Rookie, ooh, who is that? Is that like Tanner something? Tanner Bibby, Tanner Bibby for the Guardians, 93 of 190. Now we got to verify. 93, 10 off the bounty. 93, Tanner Bibby. All right, we have two boxes of Museum Collection to wrap this break up. We haven't seen a one-touch yet. Some nice cards, but we haven't seen a one-touch yet. Stink face for life. I'm stink facing a lot of people in this break right now. We had to look for the bounty. I'm a buyer on the Bibby, says JM. The Dudley Boys, the 3D. Mandible the Mandible Claw. Nah, nah. All right. Two Museum Collection to wrap this one up. We got to see a one-touch for somebody here. Did I miss the WWE packs? No, you did not. We have WWE coming up, um, coming up a little later, about 8 p.m. Pacific time. We have some other breaks to get to ahead of those. We have a WWE break later. Please give the Volpe to JML. Are you sure, Philly? Philly, are you sure? JML is going to trade you a Bryce Harper, he said. All right, let, let, me, let me find that Volpe. Here you go, JML. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Frisbee it. I'm a Frisbee it because I don't care about Volpe. JML says, thank you, Peter. All right, two museum collection to wrap this one up. APA squash in public enemy was brutal. Yup. I need a haircut. I was looking today. I was looking. I need a haircut. It's all, uh, yeah, there's no, the hat's not hiding the hair anymore. I need, need to get a haircut. I should grow a mullet, says JML. I cannot stand when my hair is this length. How much to grow a mullet? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. What about the pounce? The pounce look, look at this hair. Look at this hair. It's everywhere. Look at that. Ugh. It's, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. Can't get rid of it. 
for his vehicle. All right, here we go, museum collection. Put the cowboy hat on. I might put the cowboy hat on. We'll see. JML says don't do it. Xander Bogertz and Riley Green. That's going to be Salvador Perez. We've got James Outman, 76 of 99 on the purple, going to the Dodgers. Yeah, we're going to be... Uh, Philly WizKids is actually sponsoring our first giveaway of the night. It's a good one. You're going to want to be in chat for it, is all I'm going to say. They are sponsoring our first giveaway of the night. Two people going to walk away with uh, something really nice. And then our first hit... It's going this way. If that's not a Rocky, I would be shocked... Uh, that is Ezekiel Tovar, 302 of 399 on the triple mem. Signature swatches triple going to the Rockies in 505. Congratulations, Mr. 505. That's who he wanted? He wanted Tovar, not Nolan Jones? I mean, Nolan Jones is... Who's better, Tovar or Nolan Jones? 505 with the hit. Congrats, brother. Mohawk for charity. I would not be opposed to doing a mohawk, but not around the holidays. Not in the winter time. I would not shave my shave the sides of my head in the winter. Not here in the PNW. Can't do it. Summertime? Let's talk. Let's let's do um let's do something like that in the summertime. 505 said we need the cowboy hat. Corbin Burns and Trey Turner. Canvas. Is that uh that's Volpe, right? Volpe on the canvas? I, sometimes I can't tell these Yankee rookies apart. Volpe on the canvas. Once again, going to Peter. Hoping there'll be a Rodzilla wrestling card one day. I have heard. I have heard that Topps is getting the Panini or the, the WWE license back on January 1st. Uh, so effectively, these select sets are our final uh, Panini select sets or WWE sets. Uh, Mem is going to be 19 of 99, Tony Gonslin. I also heard they're getting UFC back too. So, uh, rest in peace, Panini WWE. How we loved you so much. And not here for a long time, but they were here for a good time. Does JML save on shipping? He does. Shave a Batman logo in the goatee. I, I like my goatee. He's not a Batman guy. I'm not a Batman guy. I'm a Superman guy. Not a I'm not really a comic book guy. That is true. Panini can rot in a grave. Say what you will about Panini, but man, they did a fantastic job with WWE in two years. Albert Pujols, Dominic Fletcher, and Matt Chapman. Uh, Michael Harris, 101 of 299. Let the Braves train begin. Michael Harris to 299. I really think that they did, you know, they you can you can knock Panini for a lot of things. I don't think you can knock them for their uh, what they did with WWE. You know, Immaculate and Impeccable were two of the best high-end wrestling sets we've ever seen. Uh, select both years was fantastic. Prism first year, not the best. Prism second year, much better. Chronicle, like every set was good. Uh, Pete Alonzo is also good. Two of 50. Pete Alonzo going to the Mets set is Mr. Scott V. I think Panini's time with WWE was very good. Thought it was very good. Nice hit right there. I need to put black paint under my eyes for every baseball break. Some eye black under my eyes and then wipe it off. Will be interesting what will happen now with the competition. Yep, for sure. Select WWE was nice. Yep. No more immaculate WWE. Just a one year. All right. Here is going to be our final pack in this box. We're still looking for our first one touch here. Still looking for a one touch. We got Jose Ramirez. Oscar Colas. Jazz Chisholm. Joe Musgrove is going to be a mem. 9 of 50. And then Bobby Wood Jr. is going to be on the bronze. You need CM Punk Prism cards? I know. I don't think it's going to happen. I think we're getting Topps Chrome next year. All right. We have one more box. We got to find a couple of one touches for y'all. No one touches in our first break of the night. And baseball? Are you kidding me? Baseball is going to let us down? Baseball never lets us down. Never lets us down like this. Final box of the break. We need to see a monster here. I black in a catcher's mask. What do you guys want me to do? Do I really look that ugly that you guys want a uh, you guys want me in a catcher's mask? You don't want to see my face anymore. You guys don't even want to see my face. Here comes a triple auto. God, I hope so. They want me in eye black. They want me to wear a cowboy hat. They want me to wear a catcher's mask. Still think the Riley should have been a one touch, but maybe the one I sold about a week ago is different. 
The Riley was Riley a one touch, Blake? Somebody said 60 and then you said 120. My handsome face is too distracting. We keep missing the cards. Unreal. I haven't gotten a compliment that nice from my wife in four years. You got a one touch in the museum box, hopefully. We have three full spots and seven fillers left in football. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna have a feel good. Okay, whatever. We'll just one touch up the Riley Green for Hattie. It's for Hattie, right? With Detroit. All right, we'll one touch up the Riley Green, and we're gonna hope that that brings us into another one touch. C note, what's going on? Four years that before your wedding. Uh, me and my wife have been married for four. Wow, over four years. Incredible, incredible how time flies when you're getting yelled at every day. <laughs> Guys, she doesn't like me. Please rescue me now. Cool guy, James. Yep. Wife compliments are a reminder that we're really there for service. Nice job cleaning the counters. It's true. It's true. My wife is the best. C note. Uh, man, I hope you're feeling good. C note. Getting yelled at every day. I feel you, brother. Yup. Who else? Who else? We're gonna one touch up the Riley Green. Beautiful looking card. She puts up with me. Yeah, she's put up with me since 20. 15 unreal in the basement no wipe she stuck us in the basement that's right you still have the wandy four or five if you want. i think i'm okay easy company i think i'm okay blink twice if you need help uh, i don't need help vic dog we need the cowboy hat to come out for good oh my gosh they're really pushing this cowboy hat all right all right give me the cowboy hat jml Give me, give me, give me the cowboy hat, not the black one. The black one's way. Yeah, give me, give me the, give me the old school. All right, we got to bring out the cowboy hat. Only for the remainder of the break. And the, I'm putting, him, I'm putting the other one back on. There you guys go. Yeehaw! Let's get a big hit. There you guys. There's a hit in my box. All right, we're gonna kick off with Clayton Kershaw, Bobby Witt Jr. You guys got me in the cowboy hat. 20 minutes into the stream, unreal. Canvas, Jordan Walker. Bobby Witt Jr., 3450 on the red. You want to see me in a pirate hat? I don't own a pirate hat. Riley Gearing logo fracture to 50, $175, says 505. We have so much conflicting reports on that card. That's the third different price I've seen on that one. Uh, oh, this is Philly, Philly, you gotta you gotta you gotta pay me, Philly. I I, I need a 50 bomb. Jeremy Pena and Alex Bregman on the dual of mem 13 of 25. Hey, these guys, Bregman maybe, but Pena, no. I wear, I'm a man of many hats, that's right. Sheriff RGL. It's already warm. It's already warm just wearing this. Nice Jordan Walker canvas, not a one one Need a helicopter hat? What's a helicopter hat? You want me to wear a little hat with a spinner on top? Unreal. You want me to wear a sheriff's hat? I, I'll grab a sheriff. I'll get a sheriff's hat. Put on my little star right there, you know. All right, we need a big hit for somebody. We need a big hit. Yoshida, uh, Peraza, and Tom Seaver. Uh, Tristan Costas is gonna be on the bronze. What's going on, John? Howdy, partner. RGL Andy. We need you to talk like. Uh, I can't. I'm not gonna do that, Walt. Not gonna do that. And then our hit for the Mariners, George Kirby. George Kirby, 10 of 20 on the auto, on card. George Kirby for the Mariners, going to Curtis D. We like George Kirby around these parts. He is a great young pitcher. If they trade Logan Gilbert, uh, George Kirby would just step up and take his place. How can I become a mod? Uh, from time to time, I just make mods. All right, am I going to follow Hitman and do a full case definitive player break? If that's what you guys want, I did have some more cases of definitive arrive today or uh, earlier this week. So on Saturday, we could do a full play, uh, uh, player break if you guys want. If you guys want, we could. George Kirby on the auto. There's a snake in my boot. All right, two packs left. We got to see another one touch. We got to see something here. There is a uh, Julio Rodriguez. I can't roll my R's. Goldie. Alex Rodriguez, a Ranger. 
Bronze Griffey, a red. Unreal. Going to the Reds, going to Jeremy. Griffey, a red. I hate it. I hate it. And then our hit. 12 of 25. Oh, my gosh. Nope, that's not who I thought it was. Andres Jimenez, going to be for the Guardians. I thought that was Acuna right there. Andres Jimenez on the quad. Game used. All right, last pack of the break. Come on, two museum boxes and no one touch. I can't believe it. We got to see something here. Starting off our PYT. Not the best, not the best PYT we've ever done. All right. Garrett Cole, Sandy Alcantara. What's the difference in the border color on the base? Um, well, these are, this is going to be numbered back here. It's going to be Michael Harris, 18 of 299. Oh, what's going on, Mike P? Why is Mike P hiding people? Mike P, Mike P, a member for eight months. He was trying to, he's trying to be, he, un, he hid and then he unhid Brian on accident just to give away his member milestone. That's funny. All right, final card of the break. We got to see a big hit right here. It's going to be a double or a triple. Uh-oh. The wrong Anthony. Anthony Rizzo, 6 of 99 on the signature swatches going to the Yankees. I saw Anthony. I saw Anthony. My bad phone's in my pocket, says Mike. The wrong Anthony. We were looking for Volpe. Oh, boy. That, JML's a fan. That one was rough. I'm sorry, y'all. One person in this break is going to get a uh, spot in Bowman Sapphire, though. I only recognize White Sox Griffey. Uh, Anthony Rizzo. And uh, let's take a look at the hits. We only had one one-touch in there. But it was a confirmed one-touch. Last sold for 160. Getting kids to bed, not going as I planned, says my, uh, Mike. Uh, Rizzo. And also the Harris. Andres Jimenez. Yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, George Kirby to 20. Not bad. Uh, Jordan Walker, Bregman, and Jeremy Pena. Bobby Wood Jr., Joe Musgrove. Bobby Wood Jr. again. Pete Alonzo, Michael Harris. Tony Gonslin on the primary pieces. Uh, Volpe. Ezekiel Tovar. We had a few people happy, but man, that, that one was kind of kind of dusty to start the night. You never want to start the night off on dust. Spencer Steer, Tanner Bibby. I don't understand. It was going so well. All those boxes were on paper. It was a great looking break, but sometimes the boxes just don't cooperate. Jig Bird Auto, Vientos, Peraza, Ketel Marte, Gorman, Judge, Harris, Drew Waters, Corbin Burns to 25, Cal Stevenson. Yaz to 50. Nolan Gorman. Man, our first auto in that break was a good one, too. It was Gorman to 250. And then two Acuna buybacks. 40 bucks right there, Justin Buybacks, with him being the MVP. Only one one-touch, and that was the Riley Green to 50. Sit tight for everybody in that break. We are going to run a duck race. One of you is going to get into Bowman. I'm sorry, y'all. We'll do better next time. We have more baseball breaks. I'm actually going to put a baseball break up on the website right now. Our next baseball. Sometimes it just goes like that. Uh, the Mets had a Pete Alonzo auto. Mets hit a Pete Alonzo in there. R Riddle, if you will. What is cold and dusty at the same time? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. When are LCS is accepting buybacks? Now. Now. As long as they're participating, that's right. We have 400 in the chat right now. About 400 of you coming out? 400 of you in chat? All right, we're going to give away a free spot into Bowman, which is the uh, sixth break of the night, the eight-box Bowman, which I believe is sold out. Yeah, that one's sold out. Um, so we're going to we're gonna give away a spot in that one right now. I'm buying buyback cards at 75% comps. Uh, Angels, Yankees with five, Orioles, uh, Diamondbacks with four. Actually, let's just head on over here. I think I have them loaded up already. I think I had them loaded up. There we go. Yep. Angels and Yankees with five, Diamondbacks, Orioles, Braves, or Diamondbacks, Orioles with four. Braves, Red Sox, Mets with three. Tigers, Dodgers, Padres, Mariners, Cardinals, Rangers with two. Everybody else has one. Uh, we're going to open up a definitive break, Chris. So we're, we are going to do definitive. 
Definitive is going to be opening on up in just a sec. All right, well, the winning duck is going to get a spot in Bowman. I see 400 people in here, but I only see 170 likes, so hit that like button on your way in. Our first giveaway of the night will come up after our NBA PYT, and it is sponsored by Philly Whiz Kids. Our winner getting a spot in Bowman is going to... Wow, the Mets are out front. Can they hold? They cannot hold. The Texas Rangers build the builder. The construction duck. The construction duck beating out the Pirates and the Orioles. Allen was third. Uh, Rangers. Who had the Rangers in that break? Uh, that was Ron. Ron, you've got a re-roll. You're going to be on break number 2367. A free $120 spot going to you, Ron. You are in, my friend. You are in. And that is going to put a bow tie on our... Um, that's going to put a bow tie on our uh, baseball PYT. Uh, 